All right, guys, here we have it. Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game at number two is here. We're checking it out early. Thanks to Milestone for sending over an early review copy code of the game so we can look at it before it releases. But uh, you're probably seeing this on the 5th of February. And I believe if you really, 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 really want to, you could play it now too. You can pay, uh, pay basically double the price of the original game and get some... Some added bonuses, the season pass, and play the game a few days early. Do I recommend it? Probably not. It's like 80 bucks. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty pricey. Just probably wait a few days and then play it on Friday, I believe. So, uh, yeah, that's that's where we're at here. I have 1.2 hours in the game, so not a ton. It's first impressions, how I feel about it now, and then kind of will compare it to the full review after we get that done. I also don't know if this is the first video you're seeing, second or third. I really don't know because I recorded a bunch of videos and then uh, maybe the review comes out first, maybe track editor. I don't really know, but this is the first video we're starting with as far as recording. Uh, check out a few races, maybe the compound and a few other things. So let's jump into this and see how good the game actually is. Now, what do we have here? We have single player, multiplayer, customized, track editor, which we'll check out later, customization two, notification center, probably for career. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, exit. We're done. Video over. We're done. Single player, single event, time attack, career, championship, compound. Let's just do single event. Ooh. Okay. Rider selection. This is my custom guy. Look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. I have absolutely nothing. Like I made his face. That's it. I have. No, I had no credits. So, totally stock bike. Totally generic guy. We got nothing. Official riders. We'll just stick with that. Track selection. Now, what was an easy track? Let's do Houston. Pretty sure that was easy. Race options. Indoor, so no weather. One shot, short, standard. Realistic. Let's not be babies. Realistic. Advanced, so pro. You have standard pro. Joint brakes on or off. Manual rider weight. I am going to be a baby and leave it semi-automatic. I know manual is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for now, we're leaving it like that. Rewind. And the flow aid, which would be the arrow. So it's no big deal. You can just ignore that. You can turn it off. And let's go. Okay, so here we have it. Let's see. Bike setup. Uh, I am playing on PC. That's where I got the review code from Milestone. So load screens are pretty fast. They're not really... They don't take very long. This is pretty standard. Pretty standard. What you're used to and accustomed to with Milestone games. So let's just start this. I didn't even do a bike setup. I don't really care. Oh, are we going to get a whole shot? Oh, turn into whoops. Oh yeah. Woo. Man, it'd be nice to have the double out. The whoops are a little bit harder than they were last year. I mean, I wouldn't say they're any more difficult than like the big whoops in the first game, but yeah. Oh, we messed this up. What is this then? Tire tap to double. All right, pretty easy. Now, I would say right away, it's it's milestone game. It's gorgeous. It's very pleasing to look at. Oof. Very pleasing to look at, but... Ah! Yes. Really good graphics. The tracks look really, really, really good. Even the bike and rider models look pretty good. But the cornering... You know, I always say milestone has the greatest ground physics. But, I don't know, it's not that the ground physics aren't good here, but it feels weird. 
it has like a delay from when I'm actually turning the or leaning the thumbsticks to when the rider reacts. It's like it has a delay and it's like awkward to try and make him turn, you know what I mean? Make him corner. It's just weird. It feels really weird. And the brakes are very similar where there's this delay. Ooh. E. All right, so casing. Yeah, we got you you case you crash. Maybe. I don't think I could have got the triple, so we'll just do the double. The mini map in the bottom left does show the the other riders on the field, so you can see how close they are. If you just kind of whip a little bit, it doesn't really bother me. It feels kind of, I don't know, it looks more natural, I guess. I mean, it's still very much a, a you know a milestone whip. It has their their calling card on it, but it just it feels a little bit better. If you start to try and throw this huge fat whip, it doesn't. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We're not, I'm not going to criticize too much there. I, we'll see. See, right there, it's just like, man, nothing's happening. And you haven't seen it yet, but you will see it. Uh, people have mentioned it, and I'm noticing it too, where if you case stuff, you get like this really weird speed boost sometimes. I don't know. But the cornering feels a little bit... Oh! So we have some lag swag too when you get a bit out of control. Very similar to MXGP Pro. Very similar to MXGP Pro. Two to go. I feel like the in-air physics are much more free than they were in the first game. Like, I feel like just moving the bike and rider around in the air is more free than it was in the first game. I feel like the whips are very, very similar. I mean, ooh, whoops, there, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can turn into big whoops. Yeah, just the way the bike and rider feel in the air feels very much similar to, or feels a little bit better than the first one. It feels a little bit more free. The whips feel very similar, but I haven't messed around too much with that. The whoops are definitely tougher. Bike sounds are, at least here, are pretty on par. I haven't checked out all the bikes. Come on. Uh-oh. Ooh. Kind of feels... Ooh, we got a flagger. Check it out. Are they going to blue flag too? Ooh, we should turn the AI on really low and see if we can lap them and see if we get blue flags too. I highly doubt it, but never know. Where's my showtime? Maybe if you throw the whip, you can't do that. I don't really know. Let's take a look at the official results from the main event. What track? What do you want to see, guys? What do you want to see? I'm thinking... I'm kind of thinking of Phoenix because I actually went to that race last year. So, let's do Glendale. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to get destroyed here. Oh, we, no way. Just barely clipped it. It was like a foot peg. Go, 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 go. 450s are significantly tougher than the 250s. And I'm trying to break. Traffic jam. Oh, come on. No way. Oh. Little whip in your face. Yeah, that was definitely not the best way through that, but whatever, we got through it. Again, whoops are kind of tougher. I mean, I feel like the 450s, it feels the same as the 250. It's it's really Okay, it doesn't feel the same as the 250, but it's not like... The thing that makes the 450 so much tougher, I believe, look at this, whoops, is... Oh! I don't know why we let off so much on that. Man, we had the lead for five seconds. Come on. And we're back in 10th already. 
Uh, what I feel like the problem is, is that... What I feel like is going on is that the AI is probably about as fast as they were last year around. But, uh, see, you can't... You do control it. You do bring it back yourself and... Uh, you, you have more control over the bike and rider, just in general in the air. It's a lot more free, I think. Or, I don't know if a lot, but it is more free. Yeah, the AI is typically pretty bad at doing the whoops. They got a pretty good run there, though. Oh, yeah! Oh, no! Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we probably would be doing better, but I'm crashing too much. Uh, but it just feels like the game, the way it plays, it's... They made the cornering more tough to slow the player down instead of speeding up the AI. So I feel like... I mean, I'm not saying the gameplay is slower. I'm not saying the overall gameplay is slower, but I'm saying that cornering is, is different. It feels different. I also don't feel like you can jump into a corner sideways as easy as you could in the first game. You know how you could cheese it into the corner completely sideways in a really weird way, not like a realistic way, and still be fine. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit harder to do that in this game, but there we go. You can still do big whoops. That's still a possibility. All right, it was a little bit different. So you can still cheese sections by doing big whoops. You do crash easier when you case, similar to MXGP Pro. You still get the, I don't know, just the, the leg off the foot pegs and getting out of control like you do in MXGP Pro. It reminds me of MXGP Pro and Supercross a little bit. Uh, I mean, not that bad because I wasn't a big fan of MXGP Pro. I mean, it was like, it was like it was my cup of tea in the beginning. And then I was drinking and drank most of the pot. And then at the end, I was like, yeah, this doesn't taste very good. That's kind of how I feel about MXGP Pro. And I know a lot of people, some people like that game. But I know some people don't like that game. This game kind of feels like uh, MXGP Pro and Supercross. But not that bad. It's not like right away it's like, oh, it's MXGP Pro and Supercross. I don't like it. Not like that. Okay, so we could triple over. Double triple single yeah i don't really like that either i am having a hard time there Ooh, we're an eighth baby final lap come on oh whatever we'll throw the victory whip for eighth place baby the checkered flag waves high in the air as this one is over let me start over let's start over yeah. Yeah. For the most part, the rider models look really good. I mean, that looks really, really good, actually. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean that doesn't really feel like Blake Baggett. I don't know why. It just doesn't. But whatever. Uh, we got quite a few to go through, so... Cole Seedley's hair is too perfect. Yeah. 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 Cooper Webb. Uh, I don't know. It looks a little weird. Yeah. 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 Chad looks better in this game. All right. We got to go through this or it's going to take forever. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so who we're going to use for this... Let me go up. Since the game is very, very based off of him... I kind of want to use Reed, but... Let's do it. Let's grab Tomac. And pick a track. Where do you want to go? Let me know. Say in the comments. I'll choose it. I knew you said it. I knew you said Daytona. Let's do it. 
Actually, we should have used Justin Brayton, but uh, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so typical autopilot here. Now, I kind of remember, whoa, super easy to overjump that. There's that lag swag. And like I said, when he does that, you kind of lose control depending on how bad it is for just a little bit. Some sand. The sand, though, I will say that the sand feels a little weird. It doesn't necessarily feel like sand. It just, I mean, yeah, it's going to drag on the bike to some degree, but it just, it's not bad. It's not bad, but I was expecting it to feel more sandy. Whoa. Overall, this bike sounds good, too. There was a bike in particular that I felt like sounded kind of weird, but for the most part, the... The Yamaha we were using, the Husky didn't sound that bad. I think the Kawasaki sounds good. And I know it sounds different than last year. Yeah, I mean, the whips really don't bother me. I know some people are just going to be super bothered by it, but it really doesn't bother me that much. The, it's, the controls of them are just very similar to how they were last year. They're, I think they're a little bit more natural looking. I mean, again, they're still milestone whips, but I don't know. I just doesn't really bother me that much. It's still push it together, but sometimes it's weird. Sometimes it looks weird. Oh, we have our ghost. Oh, whoa, whoa, he was pretty contorted there. You get the triple. Turn into whoops, turn it into whoops. Oh, you should have crashed there. Yeah, a little bit of inconsistencies with the casing and the crashing. I am happy, though, that the whoops are tougher this year. They're still not, like, super tough, but they're better than they were last year. Yeah, you know, the cornering, back to that, because that's my biggest complaint right now, is that the cornering feels a little bit off, is that... You know, you can kind of control the lean a little bit, too. Is that if you go clear outside, oop, there we go. If you go clear outside and ride out the berm, it's not as bad or as noticeable. But, uh, yeah, that was really ugly. But it just, I don't know, it feels weird. I mean, as far as having a skill gap, of course, there's going to be a skill gap. I think with the way the, this game handles the cornering, I think there's going to be a skill gap for sure. Like, like I said, jumping into the corner completely sideways doesn't really work. You have to be pretty careful, which is a good thing. Probably could quad that, but it should be a triple, triple, just really rough right here. A little bit of sideways jumping into the corner isn't bad. And then like I said, it's really, 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 really easy to tough with the, or crash with the tough blocks now. I mean, that movement is very similar to how it was in the first game. The little heads up, like, you can hear it beeping. Like, perfect landing, even though it was really bad. I mean, I just like doing it a little bit like that. That doesn't bother me. If you try to throw, like, this monster whip, then sometimes it looks kind of weird. See, if you land sideways, it kind of gives you a weird bounce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's the far cam. Super far away. It's like, whoa. And it's like shaking. It feels like I'm, it's like pulsing. It's weird. It's like pulsing. Why? Why are you pulsing? It, it feels weird. I usually like far cameras, but this one I'm not really a fan of. For sure, the close cam for third person. Oh my goodness, that looks huge in this camera. Oh, it was a huge, obviously. Okay, let's uh, go first person. Usually Milestone has really good first person. I'm okay with this. I'm all right with this. Feels pretty similar to last year. They pulled it back maybe a little bit farther. It's hard to tell. And you can see the front fender the whole, or the front wheel the whole time. I like it. I like it already. I mean, I'm not really a first-person guy, but uh, not bad. Not bad.
Yeah, I like that I can see the front of the bike the entire time. It doesn't disappear on you. And then you have the in helmet, which I'm not really a fan of this, but there might be some people that enjoy it. And then we're back here. The camera that I feel is the weakest is definitely that far camera. What is going on with that? Oh, okay. Hey. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you can customize this to a certain degree. So, we can go super close here. Um... There we go. Yeah, super close here. Cool. So they added that feature. The mega close camera. It's really not that bad. I mean, I don't really enjoy having the camera that close, but hey, you know what? If you do, you can now customize your own camera. Pretty neat. Yo, that's pretty sweet. So we got nighttime riding, but it's raining because we have dynamic weather. All right, well, you get to see the rain, I guess. Oh, it stopped. We're done. Here was the the area, the, uh, the like the freestyle area, kind of. Can't do backflips, though. There's that thing. Kind of weird, it, like it's set up in a really weird way. It doesn't feel like it goes anywhere because if I hit this ramp, I'm gonna flat land like crazy and probably crash. Oh, my eye, just hold on. Oh yeah, that feels better. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's so weird. What about this? Jump over that, but you can't land it. Whoa, the border? Career. Complete 10 rider challenges. 5 1v1 challenges. 5 time attack challenges. Whoa, all this stuff is locked. I can't go anywhere. I can't even do anything in here. Can we go? Okay, here's the question. Can we go in? Yes, we can. Can we go on top? Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. It's getting really weird. I'm kind of stuck. Read. Oh, it reset you out. It's like they knew that you might get a little stuck in here. Here, let's uh better maybe. Okay. Better. over here oh come on don't tease yeah please don't nice we don't have to do that okay uh-huh uh-huh. Rest day. There is no rest. Free day. You can decide to train and gradually improve your rider's skill. Hmm. Yeah, let's train. Or you can... Oh, here it is. I get it. So you have to do this to open up the compound, at least some of it. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. uh, well, obviously, challenge. Oh, you have to rest. It's like, I was just going to do challenges all day long. Oh, you can't. All right, train. Bonus day. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. 
Ooh, they tried to put us on very easy. No, no. Wow, it reset everything. There we go. It doesn't look like you get more credits, though, for making it tougher on yourself, like usual. Do we want to make it hard on ourselves? I'm on a stock bike, bro. Stock bike, guys. Not fair. Ooh, we got fireworks burning down the trees here. This bike feels super slow. All right, I've never been on this track. Bunch of flat little doubles. Huge bank turn here. Oh, we are flying. We are destroying. We should have done a high rival. And I turned it on realistic. Didn't we? Oh boy, we might have to check. Does it really matter? Double. Ah, kind of a fun little track. Pretty simple. Really short race. So these challenges are pretty short. You know, the career already, if it's doing stuff like this, is more interactive and probably will be a little bit more fun and we will do some career videos. Just not really sure how to set them up. We are just shredding. Whoa. Pretty easy to high side, I think. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not getting a showtime here. Got an achievement. Friendly. Oh, are you supposed to come from this way? Well, let's see what this is all about. The sky looks awesome. I mean, graphically, the game is fantastic. Graphically, especially on PC, it's like, whoa. Gorgeous to look at. Bike sounds so far, I've been pretty happy with them. I, I mean, maybe they're not perfect, but I, I've been pretty happy with them. The tracks look really good. From the few that I've done, the tracks look really good. And we'll jump into customization and track editor in the next video. But this video is already way, 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 way too long. I probably just cut some stuff out. But uh, it, first impressions are that it's a solid game. I mean, it's a very solid game. I would say my biggest complaints are that the cornering feels kind of weird. It feels off. It feels like it's... Like, if I'm going to corner left, it's delayed. If I'm going to corner right, it's delayed. It doesn't respond when I'm expecting it to, kind of. And the braking is really delayed. I mean, it shouldn't be like that. It's a dirt bike, dude. When you brake, I'd rather... When you brake, the bike stops. Sometimes faster than you want it to. I mean, I would rather... I already mentioned it, but I don't know if it's in the video because I don't know what I put all in the video. I feel like instead of... Oh, yeah. How do you get up into that? I feel like the the way they tried to make the AI tougher and more difficult was just make it harder for the player to go fast. So we're going to make the cornering really weird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, check it out, but we're crashing now. What was the point of doing that? You can't even jump out of it. Unless you can jump to the track somewhere maybe that was pretty sick actually where did it go anyways I feel like they made the AI about as tough as they always have been it's just harder for the player to go fast with the way the the cornering works everything else feels about the same where is it oh my gosh it is easier to crash it's easier to uh, crash when you case something the whoops are tougher uh, it just kind of really does give me somewhat of an MXGP Pro in Supercross the game. And I know a lot of people might really, 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 really like that. Because I do know some people that are very big fans of MXGP Pro. The problem is, I wasn't a huge fan of MXGP Pro. So, for me, I'm, I'm not going to be the... I'm not going to go out there and say that... Supercross the game 2 is not as good as Supercross the game 1. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to because I haven't played the game enough. I just haven't. So it's not fair to say something like that. But where was that? Dude, where did that... Where is it? The cornering doesn't feel... It's different. The, co the cornering feels different altogether. I mean, it feels maybe a little bit closer to MXGP Pro than Supercross. 
but I mean, it just feels different. It feels a little bit different than anything. But if I had to say what it feels closest to, it feels closest to, oh, here it is. Closest to MXGP Pro. There's actually a bunch of them out here. Realistically, it shouldn't be like that. Sometimes I do feel like I'm riding a Mack truck. Driving, I guess I should say. Driving a Mack truck in some of the corners. And I'm not a big fan of that. I'm, I'm really just not a big fan of how that works. But I'm still learning the game and maybe I'll feel differently later. But the first impressions, it kind of made me feel like that a little bit. Okay? Relax. I'm not like bashing the game. I'm just saying that it feels like that a little bit. Overall, it's fun. I mean... I don't even know how long. Oh, it was too short. It was too short. Okay, I've been playing for two hours. Two hours. Boy, we got to cut this video right here. We'll talk more about it later. Next will probably be either track edit or customization, but I have no idea what order you're going to see these videos in. So um, there you go. Let me know in the comments if you want to know something specific before you get the game or what your opinions are on it from seeing it and blah, 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 blah. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately and any support you leave this video it really does mean a lot and until the next video take it easy